Hi, today we are going to learn about pounds and pence. Pounds and pence are used to measure the money. Here are different coins and notes for pounds and pence, which are 2 pounds, 1 pound, 1 pence, 2 pence, 5 pence, 10 pence, 20 pence, 50 pence. And for notes, these are 5 pound, 10 pound, 20 pound, 50 pounds. Pounds and pence can be in the form of notes and coins as we have just seen here. Pence is only in the form of coins. Symbol to represent pounds and pence. Here, this is the symbol to represent pound. And we use small p to represent pence. Did you know that 1 pound is equal to 100 pence? Now, how to use pounds and pence in real life? For example, Sophie has one pound note. She wants to buy a chocolate bar worth 52 pence. She gave one pound to the shopkeeper. How much change did the shopkeeper give to Sophie? Amount of money with Sophie is equal to one pound, which is same as that of 100 pence. Money spent on chocolate bar is 52 pence. Change she got is equal to 100 pence take away 52 pence. So the answer would be 48 pence. Comparing money. As you can see this here. Now, by looking at this, can you tell me who has more money? To compare the amounts of money they have, we need to find how much money they both have. For Jesse, there are two notes of five pounds, which equals to 10 pounds in total, and there are 10 pence. So the total money with Jesse is equal to 10 pounds and 10 pence. Now for Joe, there are two notes of 5 pounds and 10 pounds each, which makes the total of 15 pounds. And along with that, he has 10 pence. So the total money with Joe is equal to 15 pounds and 10 pence. That means Joe has more money. Let's try another question. Grace has enough money or not to go to a concert. The price of the ticket shown is below. Amount of money with Grace is equal to 1 pound plus 1 pence plus 2 pence plus 20 pence plus 50 pence which makes it equal to 1 pound and 73 pence. And the amount of the ticket is 1 pound and 65 pence. So we can say that Grace has enough money to buy a concert ticket.